Hi guys, I uh, just got out of the shower and because I was showering to get ready for the day and this is the only time today that I have time to film anything. That's why my hair is still wet and my face looks super red. Like I sprayed some boiling water there, but I didn't. I just took a hot shower. Um, anyways, so yesterday there were hail and snowstorms outside for some reason, um, which was weird. And also uh, the pigeon babies that are living next to our um, balcony and our bathroom window. So they've grown quite a bit. So last week they looked very small and frail. And this week uh, they're already quite fat. Um, so I thought you would appreciate some uh, baby bird shots. <laughs> um, okay, but anyways, the reason for this clip is that I want to thank you all for 100 subscribers. So I'm one of the cool kids now. I did it. Um, thanks for your support, for watching the videos, for commenting. I really enjoy reading comments, um, even if they're unrelated to, to the actual video. I really enjoy interacting with people. And I um, also communicated with a few of you on my Instagram, which was really great. It was a fun time, so I really enjoy that. So keep keep the conversation coming. I, I really like that. Um, but anyways, I, I want to give back to you people with my very limited power, because I don't have much money or anything. Um, and that's why I'm giving you a choice uh, between three things. So I want to do a special celebration video um, and you get to decide what I do. So the first option would be that I do a very tame Q&A where you can ask some questions and I answer them. Um, uh, depending on the question, so don't get too personal. <laughs> um, so the second option would be that I read a book of your choosing. You would pick the book, so you would say what I should read and then vote on it or something, and then I would read it and review it. And the third option is that I do a book review on a boat, a real boat that's driving on the water. So uh, th those are the three options and um, you can comment down below which option you would uh, prefer and um, then I will do whatever you want and that's it. <laughs> so um, on with a tag that is promised, has been promised, was promised in the title and thanks again for um, being here with me and uh, making this a booktube thing uh, so much fun. So to be honest, I would have never thought to get that much interaction with people. And, and it's really great. So I'm really enjoying that. And um, yeah, have a great day. Hello, fellow mushroom people and humans. Uh, today I'm doing the friends tag. <laughs> so I have been tagged by Lawrence from Reading with Lawrence because um, she made this book club announcement. We're in the same super awesome book club and uh, in her announcement she also made this tag and she tagged the people she founded the book club with and I'm one of those people and I'm talking way too much about this. So anyways, um, let's go. <laughs> okay, so the tag is just spelling out the word friends and just having a prompt for every uh, letter. So I'm gonna start with F because that's the beginning and that's where you start. So <laughs> F stands for friendship. Name a book with a strong friendship in it. Um, so I was literally just before I started filming, I was looking at my shelf and looking through all the books and was searching for one with friendship. And I couldn't really find one. So I think I'm only reading books with horrible not friends. <laughs> and um, then I uh, decided to go with this one, Orphans of the Tide by Struan Murray, which I just read very recently and I enjoyed it very much. Um, and the friendship I want to talk about in this book is um, the two girls, um, Ellie and Anna. Um, so that they are both orphans and they kind of grew up together and they have a very strong friendship where, um, so in this book, um, Ellie, she's the main character, so she has a lot of stuff going on with the plot and Anna is always helping her out. And at one point I thought, this girl is in love with her. So I was totally certain that they were, so not that they were going to just have a relationship, but that she liked her more than friends would like 
one another. Um, but nothing happened, spoiler, and um, so they just stayed friends in this book. I don't know what future entries in the series will bring, but in this book they're just friends. And I think they had a very great friendship and I really like reading about them. And I just want to recommend this book again because it was really good. And I think I have to start Shipwreck Island soon because I think it's going to be great as well. Arr, for real life, a non-fiction book that you want to read. So um, uh, there is this one book that I think is, sounds very interesting and that is called Tiere im Nationalsozialismus. So it's about the depiction of animals during Nazi times. So what kind of animal they used for certain things and how animals were depicted. And um, so I think that sounds quite interesting and I really, really want to pick it up at uh, some point. I, for indie author, a book by an indie author. <laughs> so, um, okay, I have to admit, I don't really, I don't, I'm not even really sure what counts as an indie author. So I'm just going with like self-published and I don't really read that many self-published books. So one book I think has been self-published before it was published by a publisher um, is Send in a Sense, so the, the Tower of Babel series, um, but that's not the one I want to talk about today. And the book I want to talk about today is the Gender Games series by Bella Forrest. So this book, um, so Bella Forrest, she, she has tons of books on Amazon. I don't know how she writes that many books, but um, uh, the, so this book is like a dystopian book um, where the two genders decided that they couldn't get along and they found two different countries and um, where they can live according to their kind of bigger gender plan or whatever. So they don't like each other, those uh, countries. And um, I thought it sounded like a cool concept. And it was promoted, of course, like some kind of Hunger Games, but with genders, no. Yeah, but some kind of Hunger Games promotion, that's what it got. And so I picked it up because it was very cheap. And, um, <laughs> okay, so let me just say that this book is entertaining. It's very, very entertaining. So um, my friend Svea, who was in one of my last videos, so we used to read this book together and we had tons of fun, um, but probably not the way the author intended us to have fun. And I don't want to trash talk her because this book is amazing and I love it. And um, yeah, but shout out to Bella Forrest because she's doing something, right? She's just putting out tons of novels and people are reading them and they get high reviews. And so, yeah, shout outs to her. <laughs> okay, uh, so letter E, endings. A book where the ending made you scream. Um, for that, I am going with Piranesi by Susanna Clarke because I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was very different from your usual fantasy book. It had a great concept. It had a great story. Um, the protagonist was interesting because he was this, like this innocent person who was just curiously exploring the world. And um, I was waiting for a twist or something in the end and I did not get that and that was for me it was really disappointing because I think uh, that had it had that kind of twist ending or something more spectacular I would have rated this like five stars and it would be in my like favorite books ever but because the ending was lacking and I was so so dissatisfied with the ending um I have to name it in this category, um, even though I think it could have been great, very, very great. Um, and it's, it's just disappointing that the ending wasn't uh, on par with the rest of the book. Okay, N is for new, um, a new book that you can't wait to read. So the first one that I want to talk about is not a new release, um, but one that I bought quite recently, and that is uh, Out of the Swings by Josiah Bancroft, the second book in the Tower of Babel series, which I'm looking forward to because I thought the first book was good. Um, I really liked the, the, the setting and the concept. Um, the characters were kind of meh. Um, and I wish that there had been more world building and more exploring. And so I hope that 
we get that from the second book because the overall premise and setting was still really fascinating to me and I think that it has the potential to become one of my uh, favorite series um, depending on where it goes of course so I'm really excited to pick this up Okay, so the second book um, that is new and that I'm excited for is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. Um, I pre-ordered that at my local bookstore. Then they cancelled the pre-order saying that they can't get the book. And so I went back on the website and they said, so it's still not out. It's still, it's, the release is yesterday. Huh. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I, I ordered it again and um, they haven't cancelled that yet, so I'm, I'm uh, curious to see if I will actually get my hands on the book. Hi, plot twist. I got my hands on the book and I'm currently reading it, so I'm already 100 and something pages in and it's really good so far. So um, I don't know if that still counts because I filmed this <laughs> video, I don't know, a week ago. Um, but anyways, another new release I'm looking forward to and that I can now read. And another book that I pre-ordered, but that's still further along the road, so it, I think it comes out in May or something, um, is A Master of Gin by Pete Jelly Clark. So it's another Clark. <laughs> and um, so I read the short story A Dead Gin in Cairo. Then I ordered the kind of novella, um, The Haunting of Trumka 015 by the same author, which still hasn't arrived. So I ordered this weeks ago. I think it's going to get cancelled, but I don't want to just order it again in case it does come so we'll have the book two times I don't want that so um yeah and he uh, is releasing a novel in the same universe setting and I really like the short story um, and I'm looking forward to the to the book so um, yeah okay and the D dark a book which has dark themes um, so I think I will use this to talk about one of my favorite series, and it's my favorite series, the Divine Cities trilogy. <laughs> um, so this uh, series is very fantastical, but um, it also has very dark parts. So in the in the first book, there's a creature that, from the description, is quite horrifying, and there's also some dark stuff going on in the in the second book. Um, I think the third one is a bit more tame, but there's also very dark themes, um, I feel. And I really enjoy that. <laughs> so. And yes, maybe this is this just another occasion for me to um, promote the Divine Cities trilogy, but it's good, so you should pick it up. Okay, and then we have the S. The S is for share. Share the love and tag some of your favorite channels. Um, so uh, many of the people I, I did the book club with, they have already been tagged in the same video. Um, so I will tag other people. Um, I want to tag Zina from Beating Around the Books. Then I want to tag Beth Ann from Beth Ann Bruninga Sokola. <laughs> I'm still I'm still 100% sure that I'm not saying that right. Um, so uh, yeah, I want to tag you too. So um, do the tag and have fun. And let's be friends because this is the friends tag. <laughs> okay, and enough cringe for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm.